giveaway time. Today you have the chance to win a Plum Island Sea Cabin tie-dye t-shirt and we did end up filling that dog whelk jar. So I'm giving away all those dog whelks and this t-shirt to one of you. It's very easy to enter. All you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to my channel. So that's one. And then the second thing is comment below with your favorite thing you've learned about Plum Island. See, super easy. So just to recap, before we jump in today's video, you can win this really cute Plum Island Sea Cabin tie-dye t-shirt and a jar of dog whelks. There's some really cool dog whelks in there too. There's banded dog whelks, there are purple dog whelks, a lot of cool shells in there. So you will win t-shirt, jar of dog whelks. All you have to do, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and comment below with your favorite thing you've learned about Plum Island. Now let's jump into today's video. Good luck. Hey everybody, it's Jamie from Plum Island Sea Cabin. It is Friday. We took off after work and we are hitting some beaches on the Cape all weekend long. So we're at Skagit Beach. It is around eight o'clock at night. The tide is low. The wind is crazy. It is very cold and very windy out here. It's pouring outside and freezing. So we got our headlamps. I didn't turn it on. I'm sparing you the blindness. Um, but we got our headlamps, we got flashlights, and we're going out to hit the beach to see what we can find. So it is pouring out so far. Seaweed and rocks. A lot of those jackknife clams. Some mermaid purses down there, some skate eggs. I will die if I see a nice fat channeled whelk or knobbed whelk. We know that whelks are here because this right here, these are the egg casings. These are whelk egg casings. So we know we are in the area where we need to be, but we have not found an intact channel or knobbed well yet, but we're in the right area. So this is more of that dead man's seaweed that we found at Kalmus Beach. This is very dry, but it's a egg casing. Can you see it? Yeah. And it's really dry. You can see how dried out it is. But I'm going to open one of the pods. And you can see all the baby <gasps> walls. That's incredible. Unfortunately, they are expired because of how dried out it is. But this is how they're born out of these egg casings and there's thousands of them in a string of egg casings but there's so many but they start out this little so we are going to see if we can find a big whelk <laughs> that will be the icing on the cake for this weekend so let's go see what we can find What did you find? Um, I thought it was like a something got fossilized, like in a rock. That is so cool. That is, um, so my mother, hi mom, sent us an article about that. Can you flip it over? Yeah, that's definitely what it is. So my mom sent me an article a little while ago about dolphin vertebrae discs. So 
and yeah, it's part of their vertebrae. So it's like their spinal cord is made up of all the different vertebrae, and there's these discs that are in between each one, and that's what that is. And it could be from a whale or from a dolphin. So you can see on the edges of it, all of, if I can focus in on that, you can see how it's bone because it's really porous around the edges. But that is a really very, it's a very, very rare find. <laughs> that's up there with the sturgeon scoot that we found a couple of videos ago. So that's really cool. That's a great find, Tracy. Thank you. Can I see it? Yeah. I've never found one of these. It's very cool. And it's also called a cookie for obvious reasons. It looks like a cookie. Awesome. We're finding so many cool things. Oh my goodness, you guys. I think we found my first shark eye ever. I am really hoping when I pull it up, it is fully intact, but it has really good coloring. And I have my fingers crossed. This will be a first for me. So I'm glad you're here if it is. And it is. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited about this. It has that covering in the back over the umbilicus. So this is a shark eye moon snail. And what we find on Plum Island are the northern moon snails, which get considerably larger. But this is a first find for me. And I love how chocolatey it is and how it has those white streaks of contrast in it. And I really couldn't ask for a much better first find for a shark eye because this is pretty dang near perfect. Ah, oh, I love it. So excited about this shell. I'm so glad you were here with me to see it and experience it. So that is a shark eye moon snail found in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. This is a prize for me today. And oh my goodness, look at how cute this little baby, baby scallop is on the tip of my finger. I didn't even notice it when I picked it up. I was so distracted by this awesome shell. Very cool. I am very happy about this find. So much stuff to go through. It's really hard not to miss anything. I feel like when I go to edit this later, I'm going to see something incredible and be like, oh, I can't believe I missed that. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I think this is another shark eye moon. I'm hoping and praying. When I pluck this from the sand, so this is the one we just found a couple minutes ago, and fingers crossed, wow, that is so nice, and it is the moon snail, shark eye moon snail, this is where I can use some extra hands again because, well, let's go over here and put them on the sand. So I can give you a better look. So this is the one we just found. This is one, my first one that I've ever found. And this is a very cool northern quahog that I found. So very excited about these. That is beautiful. Let's keep going and see what else we can find. And just one more thing about this, because I'm very excited about this. I am naming this the shell of the day, or even the shell of the trip. For me, this is the shell of the trip. Okay, back to shelling. It's a good shell that's like the size of my palm. Good shell. Good finds tonight. What'd you find? This one's my favorite. Yeah, hold the light. Look at it. Oh, wow. And it's got, it's like black towards the bottom, but then it's got those purpley blue lines towards the top. I love all the ribs, too. Oh, my God. 
have seen it. That's really cool. I haven't even looked at the other side. That's nice. I like it because it's the beige and then it's got the purple band in the middle. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, there's a lot of good ones tonight. Yeah. They're mostly the ones I'm finding are in the water. Yeah. Cool bay scallops in the water. It's a good bay scallop there. These are the northern quahogs, and you can see that zigzag pattern on them. It's really pretty. I've never seen these before today. So I was very excited to find them. When I first saw it, I was like, is this a new species of clam? <laughs> nope. Just new for me. It's really nice. Then also... Check out that purple wampum on this quahog. See if I can adjust the light a little bit better. Really nice purple in that purple quahog. Did you find anything? What you got? Can I film? Oh, those are nice. Hold the light a little bit further back. Perfect. Those are really nice, Tracy. I love this one. That is really purple. That's cool. Can I see the other side? Yeah. I love that. How they're black on the yeah. tips. That's yeah, that nice. Gorgeous Look at this chick on this really purple. Oh, I love that. Let's see what else you can find. There's mm -hmm. a lot of stuff on the beach tonight. Part of a mussel bed that washed up really cool to see that so you can picture this on the ocean floor with all these mussels attached and embedded in it so it's kind of cool to see washed up a clump like this on the beach it's an interesting find Oh my god, are you serious? This would be incredible. Oh, so close. So, so close. But, not whole. But we are getting closer. Definitely some wealth remnants stuck in the dunes. So I feel like with a little bit more searching, at a little bit more effort, we'll be able to get a whole one. Wow. I am so excited about this. It's not big. And the outside of it is covered with barnacles, which makes it kind of rustic. But check out the apex and the inside. This is my first, is this a knobbed, knobbed whelk? My first knobbed whelk score. Very pleased with it, very excited. We are at Craigsville Beach in Barnstable, Mass. And it is my first whelk find. Very excited about this. So glad you were here with me to see it. This just kicked this weekend up, this last two days of shelling from like a 10 out of 10 to an 11. This is like the icing on the cake. Very cool find. So thank you so much for coming on this two day adventure with me and I'll see you guys next time we hit the beach. Bye.